Hello everyone, welcome to our video about coffee, one of the most loved drinks in the world. Every minute people drink around 2 billion cups of coffee. It's tasty, gives us energy, and is a big part of our daily lives. Today we will learn some interesting facts about coffee. We will also practice listening in English at the A2 level. If you want, you can turn on subtitles in your language in the YouTube settings. Let's explore the fascinating world of coffee together and improve our English skills. Coffee grows in 70 countries and is very important to many people. About 125 million people work with coffee. They grow, pick, and process coffee beans. Coffee is the second most traded item in the world after oil. But many farmers are still poor because coffee prices can be very low. This is a big problem for them. Coffee has an interesting history that starts in Ethiopia. A famous story says that a farmer saw his goats acting very strange after eating berries from a special tree. The farmer was a little scared and took the berries to a monastery. The monks made a drink from the berries. This drink helped them stay awake during long prayers. The special tree was first found in a part of Ethiopia named Kaffa. Maybe that's why we call it coffee. The most well-known type of coffee, Arabica, also comes from Ethiopia. The name Arabica shows how coffee traveled from Ethiopia to the Arabian Peninsula. Traders took coffee beans from Ethiopia to Yemen. From Yemen, coffee spread to other parts of the world through the Port of Mocha. The Port of Mocha became famous for its coffee, and now Mocha is a popular name for a type of coffee. Coffee became very popular in the Arab world. The first coffee houses opened in Mecca in the 15th century. People loved these places. In the 1550s, coffee houses also opened in Constantinople, now called Istanbul. People called these places schools of the wise because they were good spots to drink coffee, chat, and learn from others. In Constantinople, coffee houses were places to relax and meet friends. People also went there to hear news, listen to music, and watch shows. These places were important for the city's social life. In Europe, Coffee houses became popular in the 17th century. People talked about politics, science, and books there. Many famous scientists and writers met in coffee houses to share their ideas. This helped make progress in many areas. People called coffee houses penny universities because you could learn a lot just by listening to others for the price of a coffee. Europe played a big role in the history of coffee. Europeans loved coffee, and they set up coffee plantations in their colonies. This helped spread coffee around the world. Coffee became very important in South America and the Caribbean. European colonizers brought coffee plants to these regions. Countries like Brazil, Colombia, and the Caribbean islands started growing a lot of coffee. However, there was a dark side to coffee trading. In many countries, coffee was grown using slave labor. In Brazil, Colombia, and the Caribbean, enslaved people worked on coffee plantations. They worked very hard in terrible conditions. This was a very sad part of coffee's history. Brazil became the biggest coffee producer in the world. In the 19th century, Brazil's coffee plantations grew larger and larger. Many people in Brazil worked on these plantations. After the end of slavery in Brazil in 1888, coffee production changed. Plantations needed new workers, so they hired people from different places. Many immigrants came to Brazil to work on coffee farms. This changed the way coffee was grown and traded. Nowadays, coffee provides jobs and money for millions of people. But there are also big challenges. One problem is that the price of coffee beans is often very low. This means many coffee farmers have a hard time making enough money, even though lots of people around the world love coffee. A big reason for the low prices is that the way coffee is sold isn't fair. The big companies that sell coffee usually make a lot of money, but the farmers who grow the coffee get only a little. This makes it hard for farmers to improve their farms and lives. Despite these problems, there are new ways and technologies that help make the coffee industry better. Some farmers use new farming methods that are good for the environment and help them grow coffee for a long time. There are also new ways to process coffee beans that make the coffee taste better. So nowadays, coffee is more than just a drink. It's a part of culture with many traditions and new ideas worldwide. People love different types of coffee drinks. For example, espresso is strong and powerful. A latte is soft and creamy with milk. Cappuccino and Americano are also very popular. Each type of coffee has its own way of making it and its own special taste. Coffee has also influenced technology. For example, the first webcam was made to watch a coffee pot at the University of Cambridge. 
This was so people could see if there was fresh coffee without getting up from their desks. This shows how important coffee is in our daily life and even in new technology. Coffee keeps bringing new ideas and traditions, making it an exciting part of our culture. From new drinks to different ways of marketing and celebrating, coffee is loved by many people all over the world. So that's all for today. Thank you for joining me in this listening practice lesson. Subscribe to the channel to work on English together. In our videos, we use different speakers for voiceovers. This will help you understand different people more easily. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and take care of yourself.